Twilight Beings, it's Jen again. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And this spur of the moment, totally like random mini-sode of granny magic. See, today I went out in the woods to collect something very special because it has been raining for a couple of days here and uh, I just knew that it was rife for the finding today. It just felt like today was the day to do it. So I went and I collected something this, my dear friends, is stump water. Stump water is really, really important to traditional folk magic. It's such like an integral thing. It's a very powerful healing agent. I didn't even do a proper intro for this video. Let me just backtrack for like two seconds. I suck at this. This is gonna be a little granny magic mini sewed all on stump water or spunk water. So let's get into it. Stump water, uh, also called spunk water, um, that typically refers to a rotted stump. We'll get into it. Stump water is water that has naturally collected in a tree stump. And by the way, if you hear it, there is rain on the tin roof right now. Which, um, if that if my mic picks that up, then uh, that's that's what you hear. So. My, I actually, let me just sidebar for a second, something totally unrelated. Um, I like to collect rain from a tin roof. It's uh, something that I use in my personal craft. I don't, I don't know if anybody else does it, honestly. It's just like a thing I started doing when I was young. And so uh, today I also collected some rainwater from a tin roof and uh, I use that for certain things. So if you want to know more about why I use that and how and all that good stuff, uh, I'll do a little mini video on that also but it's kind of just weird and I don't think anybody else does it but anyways let's get into stump water stump water is water that has naturally collected in a stump uh, it's also called spunk water which kind of refers to uh, being in a rotted stump um, they're both basically the same thing now stump water is really special because it has um, never touched the earth it has collected itself just above the earth basically inside of a tree and it maintains that ethereal purity of the heavens and it is also blessed by the spirits of the trees so it is very very powerful um, in folk magic in any magic it's just a really powerful um, thing to have so uh, one thing in particular that uh, in folk magic Appalachian folk magic and also Ozark folk magic as well. Just really mountain magic and folk magic in general. And um, that down home, you know, kind of magic. A thing that stump water is used for a lot is you um, dip a dish rag in it and you um, apply it to a wart and say a specific chant and it removes warts. It's been used for hundreds of years by Appalachian folk conjurers and um, it's just such a great I know my mic is picking up the rain now. Oh my gosh, it is crazy. I ought to collect some storm water. So I'm going to go out and collect some storm water as soon as I'm done with this video. I really hope you can hear me over the sound of all of the rain falling. It would be super embarrassing if you couldn't hear it at all. Um, okay, so I'm going to try not to get distracted by the raging storm around me. Spunk water is also used quite a bit in good luck charms. Um, in fact, a lucky rabbit's foot dipped in stump water um, is said to bring very good luck. There are other things that you can soak in stump water or spunk water. Um, you can use it in lots of different rituals. It's good luck. Um, very powerful healing properties. Um, use it in a lot of healing works. Uh, also, if your stump water is um, pooled in the trunk of a tree with very gnarled, tangled roots, that specific stump water, spunk water, can be used for a growth charm. Um, it's kind of a weird thing. Uh, stump water is just, it's a really powerful, beautiful, healing, mystical, magical 
thing and it's great to have if you can get stump water get your hands on it it's fantastic it's really 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 good lots of healing workings it's also known as um, stagnant or silent water and this makes it like the purity of the heavens the etherity the the magic of the heavens and also the blessings of the spirits of the trees um, all combine in this silent stump water and create a very powerful um, magical force so fun fact I totally forgot about this actually stump water well specifically spunk water is actually mentioned in the great literary work of Tom Sawyer so there's that um, also there are some cultures uh, specific families and specific regions that believe um, stump water collected on a specific day, uh, particularly Thursday, I believe. Yes, Thursday. Particularly Thursdays um, is the most powerful stump water, but or the only stump water that works in some cultures. I, I think I know of one uh, group of people that I used to talk to a long time ago when I lived um, at the further into um, the Ozark Mountains. There was a little family. I know that they um, particularly would only use stump water that they collected on a Thursday. So that's a thing to think about, but it, it's, it honestly does not matter. It's up to you, your craft, your intuition, what you want to do. But anyways, point is stump water is super, super great. And uh, I guess that's all I've got. Thanks for watching this cool little mini sode of granny magic. And sorry, it's like kind of rough and the rain got crazy for a second but anyways thanks for watching bye